cute lads and lasses back out. You never guess who I'm with. That's right, MCQ. So this time we're in Patterdale. We're in a place called Side Farm, isn't it? Side Farm. Shit Farm, as Wallace has now called it. Um, you can see all these mud tracks. They're off um, trying to get the car down here and then trying to get it back out again. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a long time since I've been here. I was last year, I don't know, about 20 year ago with, with a few of the lads, you know. But I'll see if I can show you the facilities, if I can get in there without, you know, annoying people. Um, and, oh. Got an inflatable kayak. Jealous. Um, I'm hoping to get that out this weekend when we're over here. It's brand new in the box. Oh, I'm so so chuffed. Cannot wait. I'll bring you back in a minute. I'll show you show you how much of a slam we're on. Might give you a little tour of the area. We'll see. Back in a minute. Show you the facilities there quickly. They're pretty basic. A couple of urinals, some toilets. Ooh, there should really be a mop in here for that, shouldn't there? Yeah. Okay. Very basic. Oh, plenty of sinks. 20 quid a night for this, you know. She is. Yep, that's us. Pretty much on a friggin' mountain side there. At the pub. Sunday, 20th of August. It's MCQ's birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Back at the pheasant for a sun. Well, I'm getting Sunday dinner. We'll ask us to get something else. Because she doesn't do beef. So, yeah. Um, the, we've left um, side farm. God, what a bag of shit that was. Ooh. Try and explain later on. But I'm out in the middle of the street digging this. There's people all over the shop. Looking at this guy. What a freak. So, yeah, it was awful. That's right, get the work MCQ. <laughs> Alright, so we've changed position. We're, um, we're at Waterside campsite now in good old Pooley Bridge. Pooley Bridge. Um, so yeah, very nice. I'm gonna see if I can crack the uh, the old kayak route. It's, uh, it's not as bad, yeah. We were word side farm patio. It's horrendous. Dog shit next to the tent and all sorts. People just chucking their, you know, the bags of dog shit down. Awful. It was so muddy and steep as well. All the cars were getting stuck. We were sliding all over the place. But uh, we special forces training, you know that, that that came in handy for getting the car out. But a lot of people had to get pulled out by the tractor, by the farmer. And it wasn't a very nice atmosphere either. There was some really horrible, arrogant people on there. Weird, very weird. But uh, we're here now. Uh, we like this place, it's a nice little walk in the, in the Pooley Bridge, the pubs. So, yeah, we're all set up, that's us. Just got to 
get the get my bags in. That's it, we're done really. Uh, crack the fire bit out later on. So I'm gonna have a little go on this kayak, see if I can get a blend up. Back here shortly. And I I'm not so proud that you know I kind of jump on the bandwagon that everyone's jumped on following Hazy and uh, do a few cheeky beer reviews. So, you eat food. Delish. Um. What do you say about Newty Brown? You know what I mean? It's it's Newty Brown. It's got to be nine and a half out of ten. Fact. Right, I'll tell you what. Uh, they say it takes you know, Oh, it only takes a couple of minutes to blow it up. I'm freaking knackered. Absolutely knackered before you even do anything. But this is it. Got the oil in there, and I've got the pump just in case it starts kind of doing, you know. I'm not a professional, so I'm a bit paranoid, but uh, I'm very excited still. But actually, looks good. I don't know which way is the front. I think that's the front over there, next to MCQ. I think. Yeah. So, ah, uh, looks good. Looks good. I'm just gonna carry it over yonder and, and see if we can get out on it for a bit. I'll probably just go around in circles for half an hour, but you know, practice makes perfect. I've got a skeg coming actually. Um, a skeg to fit on the back, which is it's just like a fin that obviously goes into the water and helps you keep straight. That's arriving on Monday, so but it's it's perfect really to try it out now like this and then see see what difference the skeg makes. But yeah, all the mud on the car, man, it's shocking. All right, so back in a minute. Put some welly in the waist. Back. Finally got her out. Sorting the seat out because I had it backwards. So when I first came out, I had knee back support, so I felt like I was doing a, a constant sit up. But it feels a lot better now because the straps are holding me back a little bit at the bottom. But I, I need to practice because it's without you. Hey, feels like I'm in the middle of the North Atlantic. It's a bit choppy. Woo! Great though. Great hard work. Harder than I thought it would be. Last year I did any kayak and I was in school, I think. So with army cadets, one of the two. But uh, obviously I'm a fat old bastard now, so yeah. 
But yeah, it's lovely, it's lovely. Look at all this. Superb. Great. Great. So yeah, thoroughly enjoying myself. Happy. I'm really happy we got this out. Happy I got it. Because if we see a couple of lakes new, I'm going to be doing this. Or any random river that'll not burst it. But uh, I was gonna sort my fishing rod out, you know, do a little bit of fishing in the middle here, but uh, I was just too impatient to get this out. So I might do that in the morning, we'll see. I'm soaking now, that was good, really enjoyed that. So, there's any help from MCQ carrying it back up, like I did it all by myself. Just watching us struggle. So, I it's great, I've sorted the seat out and I had it back to front. Uh, I had it back to front. This, this, this the back, and I thought it was at the bottom. Uh, this is the back. I had that on the bottom, that's why it felt so strenuous when I was rowing. So I uh, that sorted that out. But, uh, for some reason the uh, the floor went soft the first time, but it's all right now after I repumped it up. So I don't know, but I uh, class. I um, really enjoyed that. It's brilliant. Glad I brought it. So off the bits.